actually gonna close my windows because it is storming out here in the streets, but I'm actually headed to a Japanese barbecue grill. So I'm really excited for that. Um, so I'll see you there. Well, on the way. I also forgot that parking is free on Sundays. So that's nice. A nice little surprise. Just made it home and I thought I had more blueberry cookies to eat but I guess I ate them all so I'm gonna try this lychee drink I've had their mango steen one from the same brand so I'm gonna try that I'm also doing laundry in case you hear that so we're trying this live. Wow. That tastes so good. I've never had lychee before, but it's delicious. Same thing with mangosteen. I've never had mangosteens before. Had it in a drink and it's so good. Wow. I wanted to buy some mango scenes because I've had the drink now. I was like, oh, I want to eat them. They're very hard. It's kind of like, it's like mini coconuts in how they look. They're just very, they look very hard. So I'm like, I don't know if I want to get that. But also they're not cheap. Um, to get like four or five mango scenes at H Mart, which I know H Mart is way more affordable than a lot of other grocery stores but also a lot of other grocery stores don't sell a good variety of fruit and I'm not just talking like apple banana oranges strawberries and blueberries like I'm talking about like different types of mango different types of kiwi um I mean the fact that they have like dragon fruit passion fruit lychee mango seed like they have like a bunch of different types of fruit there uh that you would find overseas and yeah, to get like four or five was like $15. And I was like, I don't know if I want to like cut it by myself. I'd rather have it with someone. And I also don't know how to pick mangosteen um, or mangosteens. So I don't want to like pick it wrong in case there is a method to it. I don't know. But if there is not a method to the madness, let me know in the comments below. Like, let a girl know because I have no idea. I've never bought mango steens before. I also want to buy lychee. Um, never bought that before and I don't know how to pick them. So yeah, if y'all have tips and tricks on how to like get good ones, please let me know. I would love to know because the juice that I'm having is chef's kiss. I've been up in my bed for like an hour. <laughs> it's time to start the work day. Oh my gosh. I don't wanna, but I have to, I have to wash my face. I have to get dressed. 
because I have a busy day. Um, I realized like in several videos ago, I said I was like a software engineer. I New York. And I'm more close to an app developer because I create apps for people. So that's what I'm going to say that I am because like the exact title is, eh. it's not bad. It's just like, I am an engineer, like I script and stuff like that, but like, you know, I develop apps for people, I build apps, custom for them and their business. Yeah. So first things first, I have a quarterly brainstorm session with my team. Um, when I say with my team, I'm just saying the team that I'm part of. I'm not like a manager or anything, so don't get that confused. And then I have a huddle with my fellow app developer or engineer um, for a client that we co-work on. Like we maintain the account together. So we're gonna talk through, cause they have another release coming. And so we are making updates to their app um, we're providing estimates actually right now for them. So um, we're going to kind of like talk through that a little bit. And then also like her and I are going to be out on Thursday. Um, her and I are going to be out for the last meeting of the week with our client. So um, we're having the meeting a little bit earlier. So there's just like things that we have to like wrap up. And then I have a client call with... Um, like half an hour with my main client. Um, I have several questions that I need to ask them um, so I can like finish doing this milestone for them because I'm doing a custom app build for them and we are starting from scratch. Like they haven't had an app with us so we are starting from scratch and I need to finish my milestone with them. I'm planning on finishing this week. Um, so I'm like rushing, not rushing, I have time. Um, but I'm putting like all of my energy into them this week. Uh, and then the client that I'm co-working on, um, that we have a huddle for earlier this morning, I have my final meeting with them. Uh, my last meeting of the day is with that client actually to go over like any questions that we have for this release um, that they want to do because they're wanting to like add more automations and stuff like that. So yeah, my day is, uh, busy. I'm building apps. I'm providing estimates. I'm going over quarterly brainstorms with the team that I am on. And yeah, it's, it's definitely like I'm in a busy season because I'm, uh, expediting a process, right? A project right now. So I have a lot of work to do. Um, let's see what tomorrow looks like. Tomorrow's a little bit more chill, but on the meetings, but I'll still have a lot of work to do. So let's get this bread. <laughs> Also, best sunscreen. Dermatologist recommended. Like, everyone who I talk to, their dermatologist recommends this. So, good sunscreen. I'm wearing my favorite merch of all time. It says still fat. It's the only like merch that I've bought from a YouTuber. It was like back in the day, back, back, back in the day um, with Joe Santagato and Danny LaFerrari. Hilarious, absolutely hilarious. All right, I need to find my glasses. So I can get started on work because I have no idea where they are. <sighs> this 
so my coworker and I, we ordered the same keyboard because the influencer of all influencers in our life is our friend. Um, I won't say her name just in case she doesn't want me to. Um, but basically, like, every time we, like, hang out with her or just, like, go over to her house or something, she just has things that were, like, yeah, like, I need that too. Like, things that, like, make her life very efficient. Also, I don't have boxes back there. I'm not moving. I just... need to sell stuff on Facebook Marketplace. And I've been a lazy person and have not done it. So I'm gonna move y'all so you don't see it. But anyways, my coworker and I, like we've been working together for several years now. Um, and we're pretty good friends too. But yeah, we like went over to her place and she we're looking at her office and um, long story short, she had this like keyboard and I was like, oh, I really like her keyboard because it has a number pad. I, nothing wrong with this Mac keyboard except the fact that like it doesn't have the number pad. And I don't really like the fact that there's like numbers at the top. I want like a separate space. Um, that's just my preference. I also don't like super clacky keys and I've been wanting to get like a mechanical keyboard that I really like. I've been searching, searching, searching on Amazon, looking at other people's setups. And I'm just like, nothing I have found like really suits my needs, but also like, I didn't go the extra mile of like, listening to YouTube videos for different like key sounds and stuff like that. And I know I'm using the wrong lingo. It's early in the morning. I'm tired, I don't need that kind of pressure. But anyways. <coughs> Went over to her place she has a keyboard, mechanical, a mechanical keyboard. Oh my gosh, a mechanical keyboard. And my coworker and I got to test it out. Um, we're all friends, like, and we used and like, we used to work. At, we all used to work at the same company, and now only two of us work at the same company because I moved to my friend's company. We tried out her keyboard and really, really liked it. And cool thing about this keyboard is that. It came with other switches so that you can try different switches. And we all ended up really liking Night Breeze. And so that was the one that we went with. Um, so I like literally went home that night, bought this keyboard, and then they had like this like set where you, this um, color scheme where you could also buy. And I was like, oh, I really like that color scheme because that kind of like fits my vibe. It's so funny. I used to be someone who like hated the color pink my grandma loves the color pink and I don't hate my grandma like don't even go there uh, love her but she just like pink was everywhere in our house to the point where I was like I'm so over this and now like I have a pink ergonomic like mouse um, my settings in slack and on my calendar like this like pink, uh, magenta pink. I have like some, some of my sheets are pink. Like I like the color pink. I think the color pink is nice. And like even my, in my living room, um, I have like traces of pink and it's just nice. Like I don't hate that color after all. Anyways, I'm going to get started on work. Um, oh yeah, all I have to say is my coworker and I ordered the same keyboard with the same switches, Night Breeze, because we got to test out the other ones and I was like, no, Night Breeze is a little bit more, I think I liked Raccoon, I can't remember, I think it was Baby Raccoon, I liked that one, but it like, 
I don't know, I felt like you had to put a little bit more pressure into it and I didn't like that as much. So Night Breeze was the one that I ended up going for, which is the one that we all ended up liking. Which is great. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm eating my breakfast. I'm having a macro bar in Smooth Sanctuary. It's honestly like my fave, fave flavor. Um, I haven't had it in a while. Last week I was dog sitting, so I'm excited to be home and like have three screens because working on one screen is fine, but being able to work on like three different screens is so nice, especially with like when I'm starting out on a new build. I just need more because I'm like going back and forth on a lot of things, so yeah. Anyways, I need to take my vitamins and start my day because it is nine o'clock now. <clears throat> Does anyone else get unmotivated? <laughs> like I'm about to start. I just finished my first meeting, which ended up taking a lot less time. <clears throat> we had our quarterly uh, brainstorm meeting and we finished early, which was nice. Um, also, it's like early in the morning. I mean, nine o'clock is, I feel like the first like three hours of the day, I'm just like, I can meet, but also like my brain can't, you know? I don't know if anyone else is like that. Um, let's see. Hey, yo. Yo. <laughs> Yeah, I provided estimates for some of my tickets, um, the ones that I took on, which I don't think is going to take that long because it's just like updating the, All right, time to reapply sunscreen. I got this um, sunstick. It's by Abib. And yeah, it's clear, which I like. We'll see. See, completely clear. I don't wanna be part of the percentage that doesn't reapply 
sunscreen. Make sure to get my neck because my ears are covered right now. I'm not really worried. But yeah, and I have a, I can just like put it up, put it down. It was quite affordable, I think, from what I remember. I don't think I spent like crazy amount on it. Packaging's nice, smooth, doesn't smell weird, um, and it has SPF 50. So, love that. And simple packaging, it's kind of small. I mean, it fits in, in the palm of my hand, but I also have like massive hands. <laughs> Um, another thing too, I think that people don't realize, even if you were to meet me in, in real life, my friends in real life don't even believe my actual height. They're like, you're not 5'7". I guess I give off like really tall energy or something. Um, and sometimes it's because my hair, like if I had like a bun on my head, like obviously I look like I'm six feet tall because the bun on my head. But yeah, even people who are like six feet think like we're close to the same height. I don't think they think we're exact, like exactly the same height. They just probably think I'm like five nine, five ten. <laughs> I've gotten that a lot recently, and I'm like, no, I'm five seven. I'm. I, it'd be nice if I was five nine. Like I would like to be taller. That'd be kind of cool. But I have friends who are actually six feet and five ten and five nine and. I know that they're taller than me, but they think that we're the same height. But then also like when I'm with my friends who are like 5'3", five, 5'5", five, five, I'm thinking, oh, we're the same height. Cause like I'm making eye contact with you. Maybe not 5'3". Yeah, I think 5'4", five, 5'4". Four. Five, four. Like they seem like the same height and then I'm like, oh, we're not. So like, I, I get it, I get it. Um, but yeah, just finished reapplying sunscreen and now it's about to be 11.30. Next meeting is not for another few hours. Um, yeah, I'm gonna move my lunch to after my meeting because I wanna get a few more things done. Right now I'm analyzing data uh, because with one of my clients right now, like, cause I'm building them a custom app, they have things named the same for some of their data captures. And I'm just like, that doesn't make sense to me why these things are named the same, yet they revolve around different areas of your business. So I need clarification from them to really understand how something can have the same name um, so I can like build it properly because the math is not mathing for me right now. Um, also, it's pretty gloomy. So like the light from my computer screens is hella bright right now because in my apartment it's really dark because it is gloomy out today it's the only time that i don't really like this section of my apartment but it still like gets bright it's just it's a gloomy day so you can't really do anything about it and i don't have like a ton of windows in this space so yeah i finished my matcha all done. In case you're wondering where my glassware is from, I got mine at World Market. They usually always have a sale on their glassware and they have really nice glassware. I wanted specifically like ones that kind of like were just really open and cylinder, didn't have like much of a shape to it. And the color is not bad either. My grandma actually chose this style because I really wanted like this recycled like wine bottle glass type of glassware. And she chose it. She's like, what do you think of this one? And I was like, you know, I was thinking of that one, but I wasn't sure. And she really liked it to the point where she wants to get the, a matching set with me. But I'm like, girl, you already have yours, so you're fine. This is like my first um, glassware set because I've always had roommates. And so like living on my own, I've had to like buy a few things, which y'all, y'all know, y'all know. Anyways, um, but yeah, that one's from World Market. I'm going to get back to it continue working um i still have like three more meetings today i added another meeting 
So on my huddle earlier, um, where I'm like co-working on this one client with my friend, who's also my coworker, who I've mentioned, we, we were talking about how we got the same keyboard. We're really excited um, because it arrived in in the States, which is nice. I'm, I'm gonna share it on here, like, don't you worry. I'm gonna do the whole shebang because I'm really excited about it. And I've never had a mechanical keyboard, so I'm like, yes, um, it's gonna be great. Anyways, um, we had our huddle this morning and then kind of realized that we might need clarification from our project manager. So we put in a 30 minute meeting before our client call at the end of the day to go over that, to be like, how deep should we go? Cause like, I've already got this information in a report, but also like, if this is not gonna involve us, like, do they actually need more in depth? because that will take a little bit. Um, like I can do it, it'll just take me a few hours, but like if not, then I can save a few hours and not do that. So I did that as a meeting prior and then we have our meeting with our clients um, today. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to my um, meeting at one. It's a stand up with my client and so yeah, I just need to like go over questions. Um, because I wanna clean up their data and make sure I have accurate info. So there's that. I also discovered that there's a mission control key um, on my keyboard because my external, the type of ergonomic, Logitech has like ergonomic key, uh, mice that like has a gesture that you can use to like go in between like basically enter mission control but with this one um not really possible just because of the type so i was like how is there like a key like is there a hot key that i can use or something it's f3 uh that can enter me into mission control so i can like look at the other desktops which is really really nice so I'm like, awesome. Need to configure that when I get my mechanical keyboard because I want that option.
I recently been putting this uh, date sugar on my fruit and it's so delicious. You should try it. Really good. All right, so I'm gonna be working late tonight because the questions that I had from my main client got answered kind of late in the afternoon. And then I had an emergency with another one of my clients, which, you know, came on abruptly, you can't plan for it. And then uh, another emergency happened, another like urgent request came in from another client um, that I had to take care of. And it's kind of like when it rains, it pours, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, I'm not gonna work that late tonight. I'm not gonna do what I've done in the past. I'm trying to maintain good work-life balance and really just cram things in the day because that's what I need, because I need to be able to go to the gym in the morning and work out, like, I need that balance. I need that balance. Anyways, the call that I was supposed to have with my last client ended up being an hour instead of half an hour, because we are doing a new release for them, essentially. We're updating the app, so. It's like releases that you would get on like your phone. Um, you get updates of like, hey, we have this new release coming or this new update coming. It's gonna come with all these features and stuff like that. That's kind of like what I work on. Um, I mean, not kind of, it's, it's very similar to that because I'm doing that with um, apps for other people. And so, yeah, we just went over like all the requirements, uh, going back and forth with like some questions um, seeing how some things are being used currently, trying to identify those spots, um, if there's any bugs or incidents that we should be um, monitoring, if that they've experienced. Um, always trying to get like that feedback because it's really important. Um, and then, yeah, I think this time around, since I've gone through it several times, I now know to do some screen recordings and to ask like, how do y'all test? But even with the screen recordings, it's just like very helpful to be like, this is how I'm doing it. This is how you need to do it. And then we found out in our um, internal sync that one of the um, updates is way more extensive than we thought. So it's just gonna take a lot longer and I'm just like, this is gonna be crazy. But also like, I'm just realizing a lot of stuff working for a startup. I work for a startup company. Um, they've been around for a while, but it still has like startup culture and vibe and the way it operates in a lot of senses because um, the product is ever evolving. And yeah, it's just, to me, it's still a startup. I mean, the last company that I worked for, um, when I joined, it wasn't a startup anymore, but it was still like, I think within the 10 year mark. Um, but yeah, our company is like past the 10 year mark for sure. Um, and it's like a very small company, which is nice, but also kind of like challenging. And then also with me, still being like one of the newest employees. There's just like, there's just things that I miss in terms of like, who does what, what is possible with certain requests that we're making. Um, Cause I work on more of like the front end and then there's people who work on like the back, back, back end of things. And so those people who kind of like keep the lights running like our operations team there's people on that team that i'm like i don't know what is fully possible with them and by that i mean like if i put in a, a request or something and i'm like hey is it possible to pull this report or this log or something like that um it's hard because like they know what they can do but i don't know what they can do y'all i did it I made one of the most adult purchases I can make. I got a label maker. I'll link it below, the one that I got. 
off Amazon for like 11 bucks. I thought they would be more expensive, but pretty affordable. And it comes with uh, two things of tape, which is nice. On the way to the movies, I'm actually going to go see The Little Mermaid. I'm very late on seeing this movie, but you know, better late than never. Um, but very, very excited going with my bestie. I'm going to treat myself because your girl has encountered the Red Plague, which if you don't know what that is, that time of the month that's what I call mine I call mine the red plague because it plagues me girl it plagues me hello uh, it's after the movie I just got out um, I'm actually gonna do a little bit of work because I have a meeting early early in the morning and then I'm free until the afternoon which is nice um, it's kind of great. With this job, I can like make my own hours. So like if I work late tonight, I can kind of like take a little bit of a breather tomorrow um, and just be on for client calls. Uh, so that's really nice, but I'm catching up because I've been focusing on one client. So um, this week is going to be kind of crazy, but next week will be more chill, which is very exciting and very great. But anyways, I finished watching um, The Little Mermaid. Y'all, it's so good. It's so good. Um, Hallie did such an amazing job. The guy who plays Sebastian, which I think, I don't wanna like mess up his name. David Diggs. I think that's how you say his name. Um, David Diggs, who played him. Sebastian was always my favorite as a kid. Like so funny so like just great really helping to set the tone and yeah i feel like there's also a lot of things that i realized when watching the live action version that were made a lot more clear about like why the importance of her voice like i knew it as a kid but i didn't realize like it was a siren song and that her song like saved him because i was yeah, I didn't like knew I didn't know like the the power that her voice has, like actual like power um, to heal and stuff like that. I like there's parts that I didn't realize. But anyways, um, I think I'm gonna end like the vlog here and pick back up another time. But yeah, this is just like a few days in my life, um, working and. Being an app developer, I think that's like what I'm gonna say my title is because I think that's just like easier for people to digest. I'm like, the official title has the word engineer in it, but I feel like app developer sounds close to what I do along with like an app engineer. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna say an app developer because I like, I develop apps. 
for people. Um, I create them <laughs> from scratch and I maintain them and all that other stuff for clients. Um, and I customize them and automate things and I do scripts and all that fun stuff. Um, but anyways, I have, I should like end this um, cause I'm just gonna ramble. But if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Um, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, yeah, say hi, I say hi back when you're commenting and then yeah, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I'm doing and give this video a thumbs up if you liked any part of this video and don't forget to stay kind, stay true and stay laughing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.